Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. <sighs> Got another another day, another adventure, another day, another country. Yo, I am uh, here. I'm gonna take a speedboat with a friend over to another little town. And anyway, yo, let's get this video started. So anyway, guys, I am literally back at WeWork. I'm back in that stuff. But I thought I would like fill you guys in on this video. I'm literally like sitting on freaking top of a table here in Indian style. That's what I got going on right now. But like this day, basically what was going on, we we're just gonna go over to like this next town. And once we got over to the next town, we were just gonna like walk around, go do a, you know some exploring. There was a couple different restaurants there. And then from there, we were just gonna come back. Now, when I got there, I thought it would be chill to film, but like my friend was like, you know, you can film if you want, but like I would recommend that like you don't because, you know, like I don't know, she was like, it can be a little, you know, sketchy or whatever. So like I, I just ended up not filming because I just thought, let's just hang out, let's just chill. But once we got there, I can kind of just talk about it a little bit since I didn't film anything. But it was actually like really, really cool. Like that little area that we went to was totally different. The name of the town was Portorinus. I believe, I, I, I think I may be pronouncing this wrong, but once we got there, it was much, much bigger than Santa Cruz. That's the little town that we were staying at. It was much bigger. Not like much bigger, but like instead of having like one restaurant, maybe Puerto Reynas had like five restaurants. So it was bigger, but not like a big city, like still super small, super chilled out. Um, other things I would have to say about this place, um, it's a very, um, it's very hippie, but then at the same time, it's, it's like expensive, okay? So like I, they're attracting like a different type of clientele, like, I definitely met their their different type of clientele when, when I was staying here, but like, like it, they sort of attract like hippies, like people that are like free spirit and like, I I I don't exactly get it, but it seems like it, it's like not the cheapest place, like because I've been to a lot of hippie places around the world, and hippie places around the world are are typically bargain places, and. Guatemala, I don't see any bargains in Guatemala at all, like any bargains, like even like dinner is like $8, $9 per night. And, you know, going to a restaurant on, you know, Pontarenas, the other city, um, I got a falafel wrap and it was about $7. So that's, um, I would say that's not, that's not cheap. That's ch cheaper than what I would pay for a falafel here in San Francisco. You know, I'd probably pay like $10 here in San Francisco, but then in New York, I would pay like $4 or $5 for a falafel. So, I, I mean, I'm, I'm just sort of throwing out numbers to put it into perspective here. So like, it, you know, I'm just trying to figure out this place because it's not exactly cheap. And then also the hostel that, you're, that, we're, that I'm staying at, they're really, really clever, okay? A lot of hostels have kitchens where you can go cook your own food. Now, in this scenario, there's not really a lot of places to buy food nearby. Like there's, I mean, there's like people selling produce and stuff like that. But if you want something like pasta, you're going to have to take a boat and go somewhere else to find like pasta. Because I didn't see anyone selling like pasta or like Roman noodles or like frozen food, like something to cook. Like I didn't see anybody selling anything, anything to cook anywhere on this island. And then another thing I also noticed were... Um, and then also at this hostel, you couldn't cook at all because they basically wanted you to, babe, they basically wanted you to buy breakfast, lunch, and dinner there because it's a lot more profitable for them. And a lot of people were definitely getting breakfast, lunch, and dinner because you literally had no other options. Like, you had no other options unless you just just eat raw fruit or, or something like that. It was like no place to cook. Like it was sort of like, it's almost like being at an airport and then they charge you a lot for like bottled water or they charge you a lot for something just because you can't get it anywhere else that's kind of how i felt at this like hostel like that's kind of how i felt but anyway let's just keep going with the video <laughs> Now 
Okay, so now we are waiting on the boat and I'm just looking at the sky and I'm thinking to myself, it might rain, it could definitely rain. I wouldn't mind if it rained. I definitely brought a jacket, my homie brought a jacket. So we went, hung out for maybe about an hour. We went, stayed at this like, um, this sort of thing that they play music and it's sort of like, it has built in seats and then there's like a big stage. We're like hanging out there. We met some other Americans. And then from there, it started raining. So we took the, the, the shuttle taxi back, the water taxi back in the rain. And that worked out great because they just cover up the front so water doesn't come in. And it goes much, much slower. So that was pretty cool. And then after that, I just ended up like doing something else. And then I'm just gonna like merge like two vlogs into one because I wasn't really doing a lot of filming there because it just wasn't a lot of things to film. So uh, let's go over to uh, another day. Okay, so now we're all out hiking. So this was, I think, day number three. Yeah, this was day three I was there. And it was all chill, like I woke up, had breakfast. When I went to breakfast, there's like, 15 people at breakfast or 12 people at breakfast and it's just more like I'm not used to having breakfast with like a lot of people you know I'm just used to like having breakfast alone or just having breakfast with like one or two other people but then now it's like this large group and I'm just like okay I'm so over this you know like I, I come here and now I'm, I'm like a part of this cult you know, and I'm not even getting a blowjob, you know what I mean? So like, or no, like, let me take that back. I, I, anyway, okay, whatever, let me keep going. So like, I, I'm there and I'm just like, okay, I'm so over this, like, I'm so over this. So what do everybody says? Oh, we're going hiking, there's just this one guy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go hiking, there's this hike over here. And he just sounded so confident about this hike, right? So I was just like, okay. Like, I feel like really bad if I don't go because or I just kind of feel bad because it's it's just sort of that environment. Like it's just such a tight group, you know? So like I go and I, I totally did not want to go. And as we're getting ready to go, like it, it was two different groups. It was a group of like eight people they took off and then it was a group of maybe four of us, right? We were hanging back because um, we were waiting on one of the girls. And like no one, no one took a cell phone. No one took a camera. And I'm thinking to myself like, I'm not really gonna do much here because I'm not I'm not even feeling this country. I'm just gonna keep it real. Like I'm not gonna do much here because like I don't have that much time. I plan to to go and visit a friend and this friend is like out in the middle of nowhere, so there's not really much to show, not really much to do. And then we're going on this hike and this is like this is this hike is like sort of not the most entertaining thing to share on the internet because this hike could be anywhere in the world. There's nothing special about this hike. It's not like there's castles off in the background or we're hiking through the Sahara Desert or, I mean, basically, if I didn't tell you guys where the hike was, it could be anywhere in the world. It could be in California, it could be in New York, it could be in Switzerland, it could be anywhere in the world, but like, okay, we're hiking and like, so I'm filming because I'm like, look, if I can't take my phone, like, I don't even want to go. Like, basically, I would just stay here and, like, not do the adventure. So I just took my phone anyway. And I didn't, we didn't see anyone with machetes. Well, actually, we did see a couple people with, with machetes, but, like, no one tried to rob us. And I'm thinking, like, I don't get it. Like, if it's this dangerous, like, I, like if I would have known that if I go, if, if I would have known that if I just would have went hiking and someone would have, like, chased me with a machete, I wouldn't have came to, I wouldn't have came to Guatemala at all. Like, for real, I would not have came. I, I would not have came. And I know some people might say that sounds crazy, but like South Africa is really dangerous and you'll go to South Africa. But like South Africa is totally different. But like machetes and like, it, you, you can't even go hiking. Like I didn't even, I, I went hiking in South Africa. I didn't, wasn't worried about anybody chasing me with, with machetes, you know? And it was only two of us hiking in South Africa. And like I had a camera, another camera, a phone. This chick had a phone, this chick had money. But then in like Central America, like you just have to go all low key and just don't take nothing. Like, what? Like, how am I even gonna get back? I need Google Maps, yo. Okay, so right now I don't even know what's going on because after this hike, okay, we went on the hike. The hike was okay, it was decent. Once again, no one was chasing us with machetes or anything. 
we ended up walking over to the next town and as we were walking to the next town you know we were walking along the water and then we walked up along some roads and then we walked by some houses and then we're like in this next town and then we sort of walked up because we saw this river and then it was like a bridge over the river so we kind of walked up and stood over the bridge for a little bit it was really really cool it was really nice but one thing i noticed that like my heart like started to race like crazy and I'm thinking, okay, it's time for me to go back. Like, I'm, I don't know, I'm not feeling good for some reason. So we hiked back because originally we were going to take the water taxi back, but it wasn't that far of a hike and it also wasn't really hot. So everyone was like, or at least a group of four, I was with was like, yo, let's just go ahead and let's just walk back. And I was like, okay, let's chill. Let's walk back. By the time I get back, yo, like, I just wanted to lay down. I don't know what happened to me, but like, I got sick somehow. So the only thing I could think of was... That morning, I like brushed my teeth with the water and maybe I got sick then because I remember I brushed my teeth and then 30 minutes later, I had breakfast. When I had breakfast, I literally ordered the same thing I had the day before for breakfast. It was just like this piece of toast with like some chopped up like tomatoes and onions and mushrooms on top. And like the first day, I thought it was really, really good. The second day, I literally had no appetite for it. I was just like... I ordered it, it was in front of me. I took like two bites and like, I just wasn't feeling it. I was just like, yo, what is going on, you know? So like, I remember I was sitting at breakfast and after I took like two bites of this food that wasn't so amazing, I like ended up going to the toilet and like I had the worst diarrhea. Like I haven't had a diarrhea in ages, yo. And I like went to the toilet and I'm just like, ooh, man, my stomach feel light right now. And then I went on that hike and then came back at like 11 o'clock and slept from like 11 to like 6. Now, I definitely got up every now and then, like every hour or every two hours I would get up. But I felt like crap, yo. Like I felt like I felt horrible. OK. And like only thing I wanted to do was like literally cuddle and like lay in bed all day. And like I didn't even get the chance to cuddle and lay in bed all day because I was feeling like, like crap. And my homie was like, oh you feel bad you should just take a nap and i'm just like yeah i should take a nap and i feel so bad like i was feeling like crap yo like like crap and then the weather was weird too because i had a couple things like hung up to dry and this was day three and like things are still not dry because it's so humid and then it's not hot and it's also not really cold but like it was just really humid. Like, I was kind of digging the weather. The weather was just very different. It definitely had a twist to it, if you know what I'm saying. But anyway, I'm just going to wrap this video up. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. I'm going to show you guys the place, like, that I was staying at. Because it was, like, sort of like this little hippie compound looking area type thing. And I'll also show you the room and stuff like that. Because it was uh, very different. Like, very different. Like, I'm, 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 I'm just saying it's very different. Like, it was chill. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Bye-bye. I love y'all. Peace out, yo.